everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you guys a different kind of video than I've ever done on my channel before. Um, I actually did film this uh, sometime last week and I just wasn't happy with the footage so I regrouped and I'm filming it again today. Um, so let's just get into it. If you don't know what an empties video is, basically it's where someone shows um, what products they've completely run through and they give an opinion would I repurchase this? Would I not repurchase this? What did I like about it? What didn't I like about it? Because by the time you've used up an entire product, you should have a pretty good idea how you feel about it, right? So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I actually have my stuff in some Ulta boxes from um, past orders that I just had sitting around. It made it a little easier just to um, collect everything there, but I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing in my little box here that I have is this H2O Plus Beauty. Um, it's this body scrub, and this is in the scent Sea Salt. This is actually the brand of um, shampoo and conditioner and lotion and stuff that Disney Cruise Lines and Disney Resorts uses in, in the rooms. So this Sea Salt is actually the, the scent they use on the cruise line, and so I love, love, love this stuff. I use this in the shower whenever I'm going to shave. I use it to exfoliate. If I don't use something like this, then I get really, really bad razor burn. It's very, very painful. But I discovered several years ago that if I exfoliate before I shave every single time, then I don't have any trouble with razor burn. So I always keep some kind of exfoliant. I actually did um, purchase this, repurchase this already. I did, um, when I was at Ulta and got this, it was like buy one, get one half off or some, some kind of deal like that. So. I already have one of these, of course, I would repurchase this again and again. I love this stuff. It's so nice. The next product I'm going to talk about is another product I use in the shower. It's this OGX Kukui Oil Conditioner. I go through conditioner way faster than I go through shampoo. Um, I also condition first and then shampoo after that. I'm kind of strange, but um, I actually already repurchased this. I love this brand. I switch back and forth between which... Um, shampoo and conditioner I use, but I, it's always within this brand. I've been using this brand for a couple of years now, so I really, really like this. And the good thing about this is it is sulfate free, so that's a lot better for your hair. The next product, of course, is a wonderful product because I have repurchased this a few times. This is the Alterna Hair Care, Alterna Hair Care Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. Oh, that's the name. It looks like this. This looks like a full bottle, but it is absolutely full of air. Um, I have used every last drop out of this. Um, basically, this is just a cream that I put in my hair whenever it's wet before I style it. And um, it's supposed to provide moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and a light hold. Um, I know a lot of those are pretty much the same thing, but I like how it helps my hair hold a style without being crunchy. It also provides that heat protection, so this is a win for me. Yes, I have um, repurchased this already. This is probably the second full-size bottle I've gone through, I think. Um, I also have it in a small uh, travel size to go in my travel bag, and this stuff is fantastic. So, yes, I will continue to repurchase that. This next product is a sheet mask. The Patchology Illuminate Flash Mask Facial Sheets in the illuminating one. I originally got these in a boxy charm. They came in a set of three. One was hydrating, one was illuminating, and one was um, exfoliating. I didn't feel like any of them did anything differently. Like I felt like they all pretty much did the same thing. So I just um, repurchased this in the illuminating and I got it in a box of eight and I have used all but one, um, but this is really cool if you like sheet masks. So it's just, I leave it on. It says you can leave it on for like five minutes and then be done, or you can leave it on longer. I usually leave it on much longer because I have very dry skin, and if I'm putting on a mask, I wanna get all the maximum absorption I can out of it, so I leave it on for at least 20 minutes, sometimes longer. And then when I take it off, I just massage whatever's left in, into my skin, and it just, is very smooth and hydrating. The next product I have is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This is actually like a little mini sample size. I got this in a pack of, I think I used some Sephora points and got this in a little set. Um, it, it was okay. There was nothing really particularly special about it that I can recall. Like it didn't make my makeup last any longer. It was just a face mist. It was nice. 
I probably won't be repurchasing this because I do have other face mists that I like a little bit better. It wasn't bad by any means, but this was just, it was okay. It didn't really do anything for me. So, and it had a little bit more of a scent than I really prefer in something like that. Another Tarte product is this, what is this called? And this is another like sample size from a little kit. What is this? It doesn't say what it is. Anyway, it's basically like a lip balm. This is in the shade Nude. They came in three different colors. One was like in a purple packaging. One was in a, I think a blue, and then this pink one. It's, um, I thought it was actually going to be a lipstick when I um, had got it in my little kit. Okay, so this, I'm just going to show you. This is basically the reason I will not repurchase this. This is very moisturizing, but you see how it's like, it's so soft that it just, it just moves and it, doesn't hold its form. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. This is. I mean, it's on the nub basically, but it's it's shiny, it's glossy. It's kind of minty, which isn't terrible, but it's to me this isn't something that's really wearable. Like it's okay to put on like before you go to bed if you want something really moisturizing on your lips. It just I don't know. It was kind of weird. It wasn't terrible. It just wasn't really for me. So no, I will not be repurchasing that. Where is a makeup wipe? This has got to come off. I had the same problem with the fresh sugar lip ones. I think I had mine in rose or whatever, like the slightly pink tint. It was basically the exact same thing. It would melt, it would feel really nice on your lips, and then like 10 minutes later, you, I just would just feel like I still needed more moisture. Even though it was still there, it just didn't feel moisturizing. So I, I don't really like this, and I did not like the sugar treatment. So next is the Makeup Forever step one skin equalizer this is in the smoothing primer i think i talked about this in maybe the 40 beauty questions tag um i think it's very very similar to the benefit professional i like both of them equally i will eventually repurchase this but i think i'm gonna wait till i finish up my benefit um, because i don't need another primer that's exactly the same so i like both i could go back and forth between either one they're pretty much the same price point so there's not like a major difference in one or the other um, it's, it's a good primer. I do like it a lot. Next is this, another Tarte product. Um, this is the BB Tinted Treatment Primer. It has an SPF of 30, and this is actually in the shade Light. I love this stuff. This is really great for like a no makeup makeup look or a minimal makeup day if you just want to have a little extra coverage. It's kind of a matte uh, finish. Let me see if there's any left in here to show you. Oh, just a little up there. This of course is not the right shade for me with the fake baked tan so let me just show you. It's like so so light but without the tan this is perfect so it's just kind of mattifying. It's not really it's not a high coverage um, thing but if you're if you have some redness or something you wanted to cover up on a daily basis it's a great product to use for that. As far as repurchasing, I already have, and I purchased it in the shade medium to match with the tan. So I really enjoy that product a lot. It's probably the best BB kind of product. I have used this alone as a foundation. I've also used it underneath other foundations because it does work as a 12 hour primer. So it's a really nice product. The next product I have is another spray. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, mine's totally out. I've gone through a few of these. I've had them in the, tra I have one in the travel size right now. Um, but I also have other setting sprays that work just as well. As far as this being like a face primer, no. It's like a maybe before your primer kind of primer. And I've used it to dampen brushes before going in with, um, a baked product or if I wanted to do, um, a lot of times I dampen my foundation brush before I go in because it just helps blend everything out. It just kind of, it just kind of helps that process so I'm not like tugging on my face as bad with my foundation. But um, this, this is a good product. I do like it a lot. It's a little bit expensive for being basically water with some electrolytes in it. But it has a really nice mister. I wish it had, oh, it's kind of hard to see. It's got a really good mister. So packaging wise, they did a really good job. It's way better than the makeup forever mist and fixed pump spray I would say they both work about the same as far as you know what they do they're identical if there's no reason to pick one over the other unless you just really like one brand over the other so if you're looking for a good like misting um, if you're wanting to just 
you know, meld your makeup together. It really, neither one of them make your makeup last any longer, I don't think. Um, I think they're just really good for marrying the cream and powder um, products together and helping them sit better. Um, it takes away like that cakey powderiness if you're using a powder and it just feels like way too much. Something like this is really good for that. Would I repurchase it? Yes, but I'm not going to right now because I have other sprays so I don't need to right now. I'll wait till I run out of something else and then I'll pick between whichever ones. But I do, um, I do like this a lot. This is the Tarte. <laughs> Tarte. Of course it's Tarte. The Pure Maracuja Oil. Um, it's actually not totally out. It's down to here. Um, I think this lasted me about a year, maybe? I don't know. It's a pretty good size bottle. I When I first got this, I tried it in like the little travel size bottle. It was about yay big. Um, it was like 15 mils or something like that. This is like way more than that. Anyway, um, this is a really great beauty oil. I have very, very dry skin. Um, and about a little over a year ago, I really started taking better care of my skin, using better facial products, kind of learning what I needed to do to correct my dry skin. How It, it was so bad. I had such bad dry patches. Everything would just cling to them. No matter what I did with my makeup, I felt like I probably just, you know, was making it look way worse just because everything just clung to dry patches. I want to say this is probably the thing that helped my skin the most because of the amount of hydration. I would um, put this on before a moisturizer and my skin would just soak it up and it just, it was just amazing to me how much. I don't use this every day now because I don't need to as often, but for the longest time I was using this like day and night. It was awesome. It really doesn't have a smell. It's very nourishing. It doesn't clog your pores. It's really great. Would I repurchase it? Absolutely. I actually already have. So Next is some candles that I have used up. And I have some of these from as far back as December. So I'm just going to kind of go through them in the order that I pull them out. In no particular order, basically. This is um, in the scent Black Ties. These are all from Bath & Body Works. They're the three wick candles. I love to burn these on my nightstand uh, right before I go to bed, even if it's just for a few minutes. It's just really relaxing. I love looking at the candle in a dark room and just the smell. It just, oh, it's so nice. Mm, this one smells like a man. It's awesome. So good. Actually, um, Jared did pick this out, so um, that's why we picked this one. He actually probably picked it up because of the name Black Tie, because um, he really likes you know, being dressed up in menswear and that's something that just, the name he was like, yes, but it smells so good. It just smells like a nice men's cologne. And then I have it in uh, French lavender. I love lavender. Lavender is such a relaxing scent. It just kind of reminds me, it's just so calming. Dog hair is everywhere. Anyway, that one smells really good if you like lavender smells. That's a good one. Another really great one. My mom loves this one. This is the Stress Relief and Eucalyptus Spearmint. Mm, it's so good. It's just... Uh, I have this in... I need to get another candle. But I have this in the hand sanitizer. I have this in body lotion. I used to have it in um, body wash. That's the only smell that she can stand because she's very sensitive to smells. and. That is her absolute favorite and she kind of got me hooked on it. And then I have two of the holiday scents. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel. It's just, it smells like cookies. And Twisted Peppermint, which really surprised me. My sister-in-law loves this one. And I've always smelled it and thought, oh, that smells really nice, but you know, I don't know. Well, this year I finally got it. I burned this in like a month or less, maybe. There's still wax in here. And all of these candles, but the wicks don't light anymore, so they're, you know, totally used up. And I have some, like, bonus items, stuff that I'm not currently out of, but I recently had to repurchase, or, um, so I'm just going to sh share those with you now. This is the Josie Moran, um, Nirvana Hydrating Treatment Mist. This is, like, a skincare product. It's, first off, let's talk about the packaging. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a glass bottle. It smells like peaches. It's got this little rose gold cap. I'm just going to spray some on now because I can. Mm. It's one of those like long mists you're supposed to. It just 
Ugh, it's such a fine mist. Anyway, this is basically a skincare product. You can use this to kind of do the same thing as far as like melding your makeup together, but I feel like this is more of a skincare product for the most part. I use this before I go in with any kind of moisturizer after my face has been cleansed. And this, what this really does is helps your skin like soak in all that extra hydration from the beauty oils or the serums or the, it just helps your, helps you. It just, it just enhances your skincare, your current routine. This is such a good, good spray. I um, have gone through two of these already and I, just got this one, did I get this one, November maybe, maybe, anyway, um, so I use this every day and most nights as well as part of my skincare, so it's just such a nice refreshing mist, I wish they had one in a plastic bottle that I could take to travel with because I'm, if I took this and it broke I would be very, very upset. Something else that I have recently gone through is this Glam Glow super mud clearing treatment mask. Um, I actually had the regular jar of it and I totally went through it. What this is really, really good for is what I figured out is if you have a blemish, like a, a pimple that pops up, you just, I just put it in my problem areas because I have dry skin and this will dry me out very much if I use it everywhere. But I just use this as a spot treatment when I get a pimple and it just, it's like a clay kind of little mask and it just, dries it up and it makes it go away in a day or two. It's unreal. I've never used any kind of spot treatment like this before. It is fantastic. If you have oily skin, you might really uh, like this. If you have a lot of problems with breakouts, you might want to like use this all over your face. I don't do that just because it dries me up so, so bad. If I do just because I'm so dry, but that's why I use this as a spot treatment. But if you're looking for something to help clear your skin, this may be something you want to look into. Highly recommend it. And the last bonus item I have is this Victoria's Secret Ultra Rich Cream Wash in the scent Shea. Um, I just repurchased this. I ran out of this maybe a month ago, um, but when I was there the other day, they had them on sale. These are normally like $18. They had them on sale for seven. So that's why I went ahead and picked up another one because I do like these kinds of scents. It's just clean, fresh, not super floral or anything like that. Those are the kind of scents I like in my body wash. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, let me know what products you've been loving. And if, any, if we share any of the same favorites, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.